What's up guys, we're here in Max Payne 3 and we're going to be finding all the clues for the game. Um, this is going to be chapters 1 through 14 and it will be around 20 minutes for the whole video. Uh, there will be a timeline in the description for each chapter and for each clue, so be sure to check that out. Uh, don't forget to um, visit my channel and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to check out the game schedule. Um, it'll show all the games that I will be uploading guides for for the upcoming year. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next videos. That was the boss lady. Only this time, trashy magazines and pretty trashy people. I just hoped I could keep them out of the crime section. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. It was your typical trendy hellhole. A playground for the overpreened and undernourished. Sushi and house music and vodka. A place you don't get through the door unless you're rich, beautiful, or in this instance, it seemed, a heavily armed psychopath. Poor bastard's name was Claudio. I found out later he was a pretty big shot soccer player for the Galatians, some nearly superstar just back from Europe. The usual, scored goals, scored girls. The only box he'd be getting into now was the one he'd be leaving in. It looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Ah, don't shoot, por favor. You an American? Sure. Yeah, I'm from Steele, North Dakota, just outside of Bismarck. Anders Detling. This is some place, huh? They, they told me it was a little fresh, but I wasn't expecting things to be quite like this. No? No, see, I've, I've seen things. I was a cop for 25 years. I've seen men run over by combines. I've seen husbands who just ate their wives, but a gunfight in a disco? You were a cop? Yeah, just retired. Oh, what a life that was. And it gave me the money to raise a family. Oh, I got a girl at college in Wisconsin and a boy who's playing football for Minnesota State. You want to see their picture? No, no, that's all right. Oh. Sounds nice. Listen, you stay in here. Don't be a hero. Oh, I won't. I'm retired. Happy, healthy ex-cop? Give me a break. Victor's political campaign was starting to come unstuck. Seemed the Broncos' luck was on the turn. If only that was the worst news they'd received that day. I had already wasted enough time. If I had any hope of saving her, it was Giovanna's necklace. I had to hope the rest of her was still intact. Mr. Victor Bronco. For all his friends in high places, he had just as many enemies. Our three million dollar man had locked the doors behind him. Luckily for us, the blood money was still bleeding. Hall of Fame before somebody added my face to the wall. Claudio, their golden boy. He'd sure picked the wrong party on the wrong night. Although if the past week was anything to go by, it was safe to assume any party with the Broncos in attendance was the wrong one to be at.
This old guy, my days of playing dress up were over. I wasn't some gallant knight. I didn't need a shield. It made for interesting reading. If I'd been given a few more years looking into the bottom of a glass, I might have been on the same page. Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right. Looked like Passos had brought us to the right place. That was the chopper the Commando Sombra used to escape the nightclub attack. If Fabiana wasn't around here, then at least someone that knew where she was had to be. My own imminent cameo. They probably made their ransom notes from the same glossy magazines they used to select their victims. This was a second request for payment. The best of intentions at the stadium weren't enough to cover it. She was on the move. If they'd find... They'd been making a reality show starring Sao Paulo's favorite housewife. Probably thought it would grease the wheels with the ransom money, but it only made me want to shove the cash down their throats. It seemed Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. Serrano was reading his reviews. Vain chump. The newspaper was plastered with the news of the first kidnapping attempt. That gangway would get me through. These were the floor plans to the nightclub. Seemed Mr. Serrano liked to be prepared. Proper little boy scout. They'd been keeping an eye on Fabiana from afar. Shame they'd been more interested in supposed infidelities than thugs sizing her up for a snatch. I didn't have time to thumb through the old phrase book Portuguese, but it looked like Victor was asking for campaign contributions. Rodrigo held the family purse strings, and by the looks of it, he held them pretty tight. It was a lot shinier than a favela, and rent would be easier to collect. Maybe Bronco would take pity on all the poor bastards who got evicted. I just had to keep him alive to find out. Hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they had the common touch. No one would be rebooting his system. Poor bastard. Hey, are you lost? In more ways than I could possibly explain. I know you. Serrano, the man of the hour. Had De Silva left this there on purpose as some passive-aggressive message to the sea? No shooting! Por, por favor, amigo! No, no! Relax, no. soldier. Jesus, what a f Yet more thugs whose Christmas card list I wouldn't be on. This wasn't Commando Sombra real estate. I had to keep moving.
Say what you want about these hoods. They knew more about branding than a Madison Avenue art director. Tropa Z. Soccer had gotten Claudio away from the favela, but it hadn't gotten him far enough. I couldn't imagine his death had done much to boost the CS's approval rate. Giovanna, charity worker and socialite. Work with the poor and play with the rich. You try to live in two worlds. Eventually, you're gonna get your life ripped apart. Passos had told me about this stuff. Oxidado. They called it rust, packed full of healthy ingredients like quicklime and kerosene, cheaper, stronger, and deadlier than crack, easily marketed to the poor and desperate. I was definitely in Commando Somber territory. If Fabiana was still alive, Detective Valerie Winterson. One of my bullets is buried down there with her. I tell myself it was a tragic misunderstanding, an awful mistake. I tell myself a lot of things, all of it crap. The truth was, it was her or Mona. I made a very bad call. This was one decision. Nicole Horn's mausoleum, the woman who ordered Michelle's death. I passed it whenever I came to see my wife. It felt appropriate to leave her some dead bodies instead of flowers. Vinny Gognetti, I didn't think there was enough of him left to fill a grave. Poor son of a bitch. His antics had brought the once great house of Punchinello to its knees. The cops didn't seem too concerned with meeting their arrest quotas. Between me and Sao Paulo's. Fifty-five. I'd seen that number before. Were these the same bloodthirsty motherfuckers that showed up after the shootout at I knew this was all my fault, and there was only one way I'd... Man, I was guessing these guys didn't spend their spare time studying the Geneva Convention. An army of paramilitaries and only my face made the front page. More publicity I didn't need. Make sure there's no more of them. She was Victor's political nemesis and, in all probability, Sao Paulo's next mayor. Even the Broncos couldn't afford that. This was where Marcella was supposed to be sleeping. Passos had the name of the bar where I was drinking my life away. I should have put things together then, instead of waiting for De Silva to walk me through it real slow. The room belonged to Passos, my partner in crime. The bed was made. I could only guess that Passos was upstairs in the thick of it, whatever it was. While I'd been dead to the world, some of my shipmates were just plain dead. Where had they taken them? After I got out of New Jersey, things had flared up again between the Punchinellos and the DeMarcos. Didn't look like things would die down anytime soon. I was gonna have to stay away from the only place.
whatever they were looking for appeared to be gone. Daphne Bernstein, a recent divorcee making the most of her considerable settlement, and Marcella was making the most of her. I didn't... I don't It didn't make sense. Why would they leave the jewels and rip open the walls? It didn't occur to me just what the other cargo on board could be. Americans had a long and checkered history of involvement in Panama. This was my sorry chapter, for what it's worth. Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. Ufe. Was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier, I'd have called it a coincidence, but I'd written off too many of those already. Passos's ID card. It was no great surprise he'd made their hit list, but to discover he was really Colombian? No wonder some locals seemed to laugh at his accent. What else had he lied to me about? De Silva and I had the same fan club. I knew enough and he knew too much. We'd both become targets. It looked like Victor had won the sympathy vote found his universal connection to the people. Triumph out of tragedy. I had to hurry. Either Victor Bronco and Nevis were doing a lot of charity work together, or this was payment for something else. Were the crush of Prado in Victor's pocket? Had he tipped them off about the stadium exchange? Monday's arrest log, as far as I could tell. And no sign of anybody from Nova Esperanza. All those poor bastards have been checked straight into the Imperial Palace Hotel. Becker's blood money from the good doctor. Serrano had canceled one side of that. Those were the guys who jumped the yacht in Panama. And what was this? Had the Brazilian cops tipped them off about the money? Sao Paulo's own David and Goliath. I'd pinned De Silva as a coward, but he'd risked more than anyone, and he'd never taken a bribe. Rear dozing off in the briefing room. Now wasn't the time. The CS were all but out of business in Sao Paulo, and suddenly Becker and Victor looked like local heroes in the war on crime. They'd really gotten their money's worth outsourcing their problems onto me. My old pal Serrano. 
We'd both been unwitting clowns in this sorry circus. Part of me hoped he'd made it out of that hotel alive. I didn't recognize the guy. Maybe this was the new slum king De Silva had talked about. A throne never stays empty for long. Fame at last. It was no great surprise I'd made Ufe's most wanted list. I hadn't done much to improve the reputation of Americans abroad over the past few weeks. And there they were, my illustrious employers. Three dead and still, every chance I'd go four for four. None of this was gonna look good on the resume. And I was in good company. Howell Passos sent up... It was a little late to be thinking about precautions, but something told me this shit show was bare. and guns. I might have known you'd turn up. Sorry. I'm heading home. Oh, I, I am here to pick up my daughter, but I imagine she's stuck on the plane. Uh, what are you up to? I don't know. I'm trying to make a difference. Giving back. Yeah, that's what you call it. Take care. Yeah.